Hi, it's Hazel. Welcome to my channel, Hazel and Aka Design. I am really excited about today's video because it solves a few problems and I don't think I've ever seen this done. Not to say that it hasn't been done, it probably has been, but you know, I'm not usually the first to know anything. Um, if you're at all like me, you have a whole slug of these um, gauzy, sheer little drawstring bags. So at one point, they were getting kind of out of control. So I basically grouped them according to colors. So I've got, you can see, I've got all sorts of sizes. So there's a big one there. Here are a variety of darker shades. Here are some uh, reds. Uh, here are these teeny weeny or ones that are white. These are sort of an acru or um, beige color. Um, <laughs> would you believe when my son got married many moons ago, my mom and my aunt sewed these little uh, favor bags out of this metallic -y, um fabric uh, so it would match the navy and silver color scheme. Still have a few of those. And can I just say they've been married for, is it 20 years now? <laughs> so the kid doesn't throw much away. Let's just say that. <clears throat> okay. Oh, and then this last one. I don't even know where. I, I think I bought a bundle of these. Sorry, I'm just trying to get this back in there without creasing the life out of it. Um, so I'll get rid of these. And I keep all of these in a fabric uh, bag here, just so they're all, you know, that whole mantra of organization. Keep like with like. Um, works better sometimes than others, to be honest. But anyway. I keep trying. So I have a whole slug of this size. Now, these are not particularly well made, but um, I bought them, so I'm going to use them. Okay, so that is, that was one thing. Like I, I talked about wanting to solve some problems. So I have a whole bunch of those gauzy bags. I also have... Um, a number of these sachets, fragrance sachets. Now, you can, if you know me at all, you know that I bought this in part because of the scent, but also because of those beautiful poppies. Um, so I have these scattered around. Um, I have a few here in my office. Um, I think I have others um, in the closet. Now, you know, the bad the good thing about getting ideas for YouTube videos is, whew, whew, got an idea for a YouTube video. The bad thing about not being able to act on it immediately is that there is time to misplace the things you wanted to use. So this type of um, sachet has these little sort of... <laughs> Do they look a little bit like kitty litter? Uh, and I don't know. I don't have, we don't have indoor cats. So, but that's what they look like. And I wish you could smell this because it is so lovely. I also have a more masculine scent uh, set of these in a, like a um, sort of a plaid. But anyway, this is what we're using today. So I've got these lovely scented things these little granules um, and lace coming out the yin yang so we know that quite often the materials that we use in our junk journals are maybe not the greatest smelling because we know that old paper has a very distinctive smell if it has been at all uh, water damaged or you know in damp conditions it picks up that funky smell. So I thought to myself, okay, what can I do with all of this stuff? I guess the only thing I would say about um, 
sense is that it's easy to do to, to do this sort of thing with uh, if you're doing a project for yourself. It may not be quite as easy to add scents uh, for products that you may be hoping to sell because there seems to be sort of a global sensitivity to, to smells, even if they are pleasant ones. Anyway, I started with one of these bags. They, of course, are open at one end, uh, just folded over at the other. So I put in... I had this scrapbooking paper, and you may, if you caught my video on, on making lace masterboards, you'll know that this was a paper that I considered using. The problem is that it was only one-sided. So because these uh, gauzy bags are obviously see-through, I folded it over, doubled it up, and, and made it fit into this, this uh, bag. I also stitched top and bottom so that this could become a signature page. How do you like my decoration so far? Uh, this could become a signature page, so I've notched it there and there. Um, and the reason I have that piece of uh, junk mail in there is because if I want to glue on any decoration, I want to be sure that the glue does not um, seep in and... Uh, close the 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 pocket of course so <clears throat> I guess whether or not in the final product whether or not a person chooses to uh, put anything in there is going to um, you know be personal choice but I just think once I get that postcard out of there it's going to be a beautiful thing nonetheless I don't want to go overboard <clears throat> decorating because typically that's not my style. And I also, whoops, this is our glitter glue. Um, I also, because I want that beautiful fab, uh, not fabric paper to show. And... Um, now this particular thing that I'm showing you does not involve the the scented. Um, let me just check my position here. Okay, and this uh, thing, this image, these lovely lilies, I fussy cut like I was at. I don't know even where I got them anymore. There were a number of these, and these were on top of sympathy cards. And I love the lily and I love the color. So I bought, oh, oh yeah, that's fine. Um, I bought <clears throat> all that they had. And obviously this is one that I fussy cut from. The, and, and the beauty of that is that there are no words obscuring it. Now what is going to keep that from sticking to the, maybe wax paper would have been better. Maybe I can just, um, I'm looking for my little six inch, whoops, <laughs> I'll just maybe put that in there as an extra bit of lift. Whoops, I moved that card over. So you can see it takes a little bit of Oh yeah, that's glued on. Um, takes a bit of fussing with, but I think it's going to be worth it in the end. So we'll just carry on, and then after I'm pretty sure that this is dried well, I will take this apart and show you again. Um, now, what am I going to do on the rest, you know, inside? and I don't know, but you get the gist of the idea. So I'll set that aside. So then I thought... Okay, I have, you saw I had several of these smaller sized bags. So what I did was I removed the drawstring and 
put some of the uh, little whatever these things are in here. Now I didn't put many sniff test because it doesn't take many and because a person doesn't want to bulk it up. I then had this avoc uh, avocado dyed, um, oh my God, what do you call this type of lace? It'll come to me. So I made kind of a little um, skirt <laughs> um, and I sewed it around because of course I wanted to seal the bag so that nothing can shake out. I used some dyed trim to cover the raw edge of the um, this unnamed lace. <laughs> and I ended up doing two rows of stitching because I didn't catch it all the first time. Now, I don't really like the way this gapes open here, so I wanted to show you the back. Oh, see? Still didn't catch it very well. So what I'm going to do is add just a drop, jeez, maybe I should line, I'll line it up here, just a titch there, titch, that, that's an official measurement, and maybe a dot or two along the way, don't want it to seep through, and if a person is curious, oh, why does that smell so lovely? They could still <laughs> let it dry. They could still peek under her skirt and see what is going on. Now, how this... Uh, and, and, you know, believe it or not, I did pin this in place. But I guess I wasn't paying close enough attention. So I'm just going to try to... Let me trim that little problem off. Oh my goodness. Okay. Let's put a little dab there just to be certain. And again, this is serving no purpose other than some decoration because as good as those little things smell, they don't look particularly good. So then I thought, okay, now what? Oh, and I was saying that if you wanted to know what's under, you could always peek under the skirt and see. Okay, so I have a couple possibilities for finishing this off. This is something I cut off a doily. Now, unfortunately, it isn't long enough to go all the way around. But then, you know, it could be that... Um, this thing, this whole thing gets glued down to the page and never, and no one ever sees the back. So that's a possibility. Or I could have it lower. I also found, now this kind of changes the look of it perhaps. This is a piece, just a little strip of this fabric that is sort of in the same color family. Now there is enough of this to go around. So I could do that. You know, just sort of have that lace peeking out of there. I would just probably glue that. You know, someday, maybe when I'm braver, I will uh, do a video at my sewing machine. But right now it's across the room and I can't be in, I can't be in two places at once. Now this looks a little starkly white here. So what I could do is just touch this with my, uh, oh, you know what I have? Let's hope I can find it quick. Like one of, I have an ink pen. I think it's called Tattered Rose. Oh, look at that, found it on the first attempt. I could probably just run my, brush over that a bit and just take back that, or not take back, but knock back that, uh, where's the right brush? Did I ever show you how I keep my brushes? 
And in the beginning, when I only had three or four, I would put a piece of embroidery thread around that would represent what the color is. But after the bristles get stained, uh, you know, there isn't much need for that. I would say that this is the closest. Well, what's this one? Anyway, I'm going to use this one. And that's just a little ceramic or pottery, whatever, whatever. Oops. And there's the... Now, it's, it's very... Oh, look at that. That's going to be nice. Unlike some of you, I don't own every single ink pad. I have my few favorites. And, um, yeah. Let's quickly do this. Okay, so I'm basically... I want that... Probably want that little rose bud or what? Yeah, I guess. Or is that whatever that flower bud to be kind of front and center there? So I'll just now. I suppose I just kind of want to dot this on in places because we know it could will probably want to bleed through. Um. Now what? Maybe I should just offset it. And I suppose if I feel like some extra insurance is needed here, I could run it through the sewing machine again when, when you guys aren't here. Now, adding this um, sort of countrifies this a bit. And if it turns out that the glue is visible, I could find a, um, either a tiny piece of some ribbon, you know, a narrow ribbon to... Oh, I think that's kind of cool. And... Yeah, I'll put that at the top. And if I have to, if, if I decide that this will be a free-floating uh, thing, then I will... Um, get more of this trim off the... off the doily and... you know, make a connection at the back. <clears throat> it is uh, another smoky day. Whoops. <laughs> another smoky day here in Alberta. Um, forest fire smoke blowing in from BC. And I think the Northwest Territories. I haven't watched any news for ages, so I'm kind of oblivious. There was a time when I was a religious follower of the news you know I'd watch morning news and then catch up at noon and then again at supper time and then right before bed and I'm thinking well that's a little bit much and I don't believe in keeping my head in the sand and avoiding you know bad news sad news because I think it's part of life but I don't need to be spending that kind of time and that kind of emotional capital um, with uh, on some of that repetitious stuff. Okay, so I'm going to leave this as it is. Now, it could be that... Um, Again, I don't know how this will be used. I suppose if I wanted sort of a, a ribbon tag or something. Um, tab. I can tuck it in there. Oh, that might not be bad. Yeah, let's do it and call it done. Or semi-done. Don't want a great deal if it's sticking out. 
Whoa. Um, let's see. Maybe I should put the glue here. This was lace that I had that got discolored. It was white, obviously, that got that got discolored during avocado dyeing probably a year or two ago when I first learned about dyeing. Oh my goodness. This is too long. Okay, if I fold that over. This thing must be alive. It's resisting me. Oh, that ended up being quite short. <laughs> From one extreme to another, people. Okay. So, for now, I'm going to leave this as is. I could add... Um... You know what? Why don't... Well, let me see how we're doing for time. No, I won't do it now. I could also add, you know, pearls or... Hey, I have this stuff. What is this stuff called? Nouveau Drops. And this is the um, Vintage Drops. I, you know, I think this is sort of a gateway drug to buying this kind of stuff. So, one day when I was in a scrapbooking store, this is what I bought. Because I thought, well, white and black obviously are great for, um, you know, their basics. Who doesn't love that? And then I thought this was nice. I don't know that it has, does it have color names on it? Oh, they're calling this saddlebag. Go figure. And this one is Bohemian Teal. Okay. Should we? Now this says add matte dimensional details to craft projects. Just for the heck of it, let's let's break this puppy in. Where do I want to do it? I'm going to add, no, I think the technique is just straight down. Oh, brother, I've got those. Come on. Okay, so when I boo-boo this, I'll be covering that up with something else. I did try one of the colors. Oh, you know what? I think I spoiled this. Don't ever allow yourself to say that. Okay, I'm not going to prejudge. We will... See, that's how you clean something, guys. Just with your fingers. Um, not going to prejudge this. Because that may be the most beautiful thing since sliced bread. Hmm. I'll put that aside. Okay, let's carry on. I then had this blush colored lace and you can see it's got a scalloped edge. So I took it to the sewing machine, I folded it in half, I matched up the, the scallops and I left this little opening here. I'm thinking that this part here is fine enough that it's not going to let these granules escape. I was wondering if I should have brought my little, uh, what do you call it, funnel, but we'll see. And I think I can get away with putting this straight in here. Oh, I'm, get I'm getting some fallout. <laughs> Oh, 
well. Okay, so maybe that wasn't the best idea I've ever had. I did, uh, but where is it? Oh, but these holes are probably just as... See, I have just the tool that you can buy on a roll. If I can get the end going here, I'll show you. Now, would some of these fall through that? Probably. See, originally I thought I would have to make a little pouch to stick in here. But anyway, I think, oh my goodness, I didn't realize some of that was so. Oh, you know what would be good? Well, I'm going to add. Yeah, that's enough for a nice little scent. Okay, I'm going to add some more. I will continue to shake this like a salt shaker and see what, you know, what falls out. Um, anyway, what I was going to say is what I will do, obviously not now because I can't, is use a, um, what do you call it, a little strainer, a little sieve, to accept, let the smallest particles fall through and leave the big ones behind and use the bigger ones in a project like this. So this obviously needs, you know, that last inch of sewing to be done. But I think that's really cute too. It will also lend itself to some... <laughs> Beautiful decorating. So we'll call this maybe a four out of five. I mean, a, a four out of ten. I'm going to put, so far I'm putting more stuff aside than I'm actually. Okay, let me clean up this for the last time. I'll show you. Show you something else. Um, okay, two more things. So here's one of those little bags that I did nothing to other than get a, oh, these are so good, Thin Addictives, the ones with cranberries and almonds, or now they also have a lemon one. Anyway, this is the cutoff of that scrapbook paper. Again, this is just doubled up. Uh, this was an end I cut off, so obviously the gluing was a little suspect because I thought I might be sewing, so I didn't want to glue where I might be sewing. Um, anyway, so what I was thinking for this one is just now I, I'm for now I left the drawstring because it, it lies relatively flat, it's not one of the round cord types, and then I th I brought out a bunch of these little fussy cuts, fussy cut flowers that I've, you know, done who knows when over the past months and so on. I also have this. I bought this, like, and it looked kind of, you can see that there's a, or maybe you can or can't, that there is a yellowing on some of these, the ones that had been exposed to light. The ones that were more protected are pinker looking. Anyway, I thought that this could also be used somehow. So, I don't know. So, what I thought I would see, it doesn't, you know, something round doesn't necessarily lie flat. So, let's just give it a little, little breathing space. Maybe it would be good to ink this a bit. Sorry, guys, I typically never do any inking in front of you, but this hopefully will be quick. Now, that little slit that I've made obviously has to be hidden.
Okay. So what I could do here is layer these things. Um, maybe right to the top I have the... And then put some... Oh, that's big. Now that I have... Let's pick something else. That, I like that little... Um, candy thingamajig. Maybe I'll use this glue. Oh, that might be too... That might gob that up too much. Remember, I'm just trying... I'm using the cardboard as protection because I don't want it sealing the bag shut. But at the same time, I don't want a whole bunch of it, you know... Where's my pin? For heaven's sake. Did I not put it in a while ago when I used it last? Okay, so I'm basically just centering this here. Can't, oh, here it is. We can't afford to lose our pin. I have, in a pinch, tried um, just a regular, like, corsage pin or something for um, a probably Fabri-Tac, not or glitter glue. And when they say stainless steel, they mean stainless steel. They don't mean something else because it does rust and then it discolors the glue I mean you know not the whole bottle obviously but I guess it doesn't have to be totally glued down okay let me find another little something to stick in there Okay, then I will use this. And if I end up putting more of the scented stuff in there, then obviously I will need to be sewing this shut. So let me cut this off where I need to so that I could kind of ink that edge. Our glitter glue. Oh, I think I was telling you about how smoky it is again. So, sorry if I've already said this. Um, so yesterday and again today, I've got my sage diffuser running here in the office just to replace a repulsive smell with something that is so gorgeous. Okay, let us now, since this, see, this would have been a perfect color match, but hmm, covers up too much, so let's find something else. Little tool on the pink side, fox glove is maybe, whoops, upside down. Unless I do a little bouquet type thing here. I do have, oh, I have stargazer, two, two, two. That's probably cute. Although I worked on this one a bit yesterday, getting more of the white gone. Okay, I've eliminated, that's too big. These just came out, okay, that's cute too, but maybe not too, okay. 
butterfly, no. Rose, no. Hydrangea, no. Okay, we have our winner. So I should have, it's very overcast. Well, ah, not overcast, I guess smoky. I probably should have turned on some lights here. I hope you guys can. It is Sunday morning as I'm doing this. Just trying to hit most of these tiny little surfaces. I did go in with my little finger cutter uh, to get some of those extra white bits out. Let me pull this, oops, <laughs> pull this out momentarily so I can really flatten that, that ruler was keeping it from, oh, I like that. Should have inked it. Oh, goodness. That's not the one. <clears throat> Give it a little tattered rose. Just to knock back the white a bit. Although that white ribbon is there, so it's not totally, totally bad. Um, okay. I think since our glitter glue grabs quickly... Okay, let's try the, the old pouring thing again. Whoops, and see if it all falls out. I think this is a lot closer. A, oh, I could use a little dab there, I see. And you can see that one of these, pa whoa, that's quite a bit, that one of these packages goes a long way. I also, if I could find my, uh, oh, much better. And frankly, that's not a bad color. So, so what if it's visible? So I'm going to put a clip on here just for, to prevent any accidents. So I can get this sewn. Let me add a touch of blue here. Oh, and here it's opening up. Can you see that? Um, <clears throat> so if I'm only decorating the front, This is probably one of those glue down things. And I guess, unless I sew over that thread, which I won't be, I'll, I'll be sewing probably above this line of stitching. If this ribbon bothers me, I can still cut the knots and pull it out and, you know, do something else there. Because... Oh, oh, this is also an avocado dyed. Hmm. Sort of takes away from that linear thing that's happening, but... Anyway, I'll ponder that one. Um, okay. Whoa. Jeez. I almost spilled this, you guys. Let's put that over there. Let's shake these crumbs off. And I will show you a final idea, and then we'll take a look at what has been drying. 
Now this is a pink bag. You can see some flakes in there. This is a piece of uh, cardstock paper. This is an avocado dyed thing. Boy, I didn't glue that on very straight, did I? And the reason I added that is because I was having trouble getting, uh, when I was dry fitting this, I was having trouble getting the card in. So then I made it narrower. And then, of course, then it became a little too narrow. So I thought, well, that's going to look goofy to have that space on the side. So I attached the, um, the trim to basically, whoops, fill the gap here on the side. Now, it's also visible on this side. I left it, oh, I cut this flush paper and bag uh, because there would have been this much above. <sighs> now, I don't know what I should be doing next. If I... I almost feel like I should just leave it as um, just a beautiful pocket. I mean, I could add some decorative elements on the outside here. That's maybe a little, not the greatest color match, but I, I mean, there are those tones in there. I don't know, where did I get that from? I don't know if I, I don't think I have any more of it. Oh, not there. Here. I have this. I didn't realize this till I saw someone else. Uh, I didn't realize that these were butterflies till somebody else pointed it out in a thrift haul. So what I could do is cut there, or I could just separate out those butterflies and use them. I could use this. I don't know if I have any more of that. Whoops. Hmm. I think I'm finally um, get you know I finally got bitten by the lace bug. I'm just and you know I as I was cutting things up yesterday, I thought to myself, I wish that someone who knows how to crochet would write and tell me why is it that we can cut stuff up like this. And it doesn't all come apart. I, I, you know, like inquiring minds want to know. How is that possible? Hmm. See, if I was Tina Chabby Dabby Duda, I'd be putting this at some sort of an angle. And not try to fight the curvature off the doily. You know what, I shouldn't worry about the back. I think this is a pocket that would be glued down. Items could be inserted here. They would still show. Oh, you know what? Where did I put it though? Another um, video that I intend to do shortly, perhaps right after this one, is to decorate my lace master board pieces. Is that lace overload? <laughs> so obviously what a person chooses to put into it will be, um, you know, figured out later. Okay, let's get on with this. You guys don't have all day. 
I'm going to pull this one out. Use this for my protection. Too wide. Okay. I could do it offset like that and then put something else there. Maybe a motif like that. That little flower is so cute. Okay, enough chit-chat. Let's just do it. Oh, anyway, did I finish that thought? I, I'm not sure. Yeah, if someone could explain to me how it's possible to tr to cut, you know, these things and not lose it all, uh, I would appreciate knowing that. Maybe I've been lucky with this. I should stick with our glitter glue. I'll do the, the uh, more... Oh, this... This has to be the right side. Wouldn't the bodies, the the little thorax or whatever you call that? Okay, let's try this again. Um, I'm doing it on the more uh, woven parts, and then I can just peek underneath and and uh, tack down the, whoops, the more lacy parts. I hope that you're having, um, sorry, I'm not totally up on the U.S. holidays, but I think that it's uh, this weekend, this, uh, well, in Canada, Labor Day weekend. I think you have something like that in the States this weekend. Probably call it something else, though. Keep moving my card around. I guess the thing I don't like here is that that trim is missing, but. Okay, let's add a bit more. Anyway, um, nothing like starting a sentence and not finishing it. I hope that uh, whether it's a long weekend or not, I hope that you are, or whatever day you watch this, that you are looking after yourself. And by that, I mean your creative self. Uh, if you have that creative itch, then by all means, <laughs> scratch it. Now that could mean getting your fix of YouTube viewing or Instagram or wherever you get your, your jollies. Um, or better yet would be having videos like this one um, playing as you do your own thing. I mean, obviously you look up when there's something very exciting to see, but if she's just wielding a, a glue bottle, well, you know, you can look at your own stuff then. I just love hearing your comments. Um, there are some regular ladies that, that write and, <laughs> um, one in particular, Sandy, um, does her own thing while listening slash watching my videos. So <laughs> that makes me, 
That makes me smile. That makes me feel like I'm serving a purpose in this world. Um, and then, of course, there's Teresa that has a story for every uh, video that I've ever posted. And I mean everyone. I, I am amazed. I don't have the greatest memory. Um, and I don't mean, you know, like losing my tree journal, uh, tree canvas, tree, the, the art canvas I intended to use for a tree journal. I mean, uh, forever. <laughs> um, all kinds of things. Like I have a husband who, who knows what happened in a particular year based on what so-and-so was driving Oh, yeah, that was a year that so-and-so had the 67 Pontiac. Okay. I'm not even sure I remember all the cars we had. Never mind what somebody else drove in a particular year. Um, so anyway, back to Teresa. I'm amazed at the things she remembers, both like pop culture uh, movie, TV references, authors, uh, family stories. <laughs> Makes me laugh every time. So, yes, your comments help my channel and the algorithms that go with it. But they also serve a real purpose in... Um, um, what is the word? In boying, B U O Y, uh, boying uh, the mood and the spirit of the people making the videos. Okay, for the time being, I'm going to leave these dangly things. Uh, my impulse would be to chop them off flush, but hey. If we're trying to do things differently, then let's, damn it, let's do things differently. Should I add this little flower here? That would help cover this part that bugs me. So I'll just do this and then we will um, take a look at the other pieces that have dried. So if you know why crochet does not totally unravel at the first snip, please clue me in. What is this little doohickey here? Yeah, see, I like that. But do I want to put something underneath it? How's that for decisive? Now let me just have a closer look here. I would say this is the wrong side. Yeah, it's been crazy. Right now, um, the furnace is running. <laughs> I just have it set at 20. But sometimes in the same day, we have the air conditioning and the furnace running. I mean, not obviously, clearly not simultaneously, but, you know, so it's, let's just say fall is definitely in the air. But good news so far for farmers and probably gardeners is that there has been no frost, not even a light frost. And definitely not a killing frost. And I haven't heard any flocks of ducks or geese flying south. And, um, wait, what else was I, was I thinking was a good sign? Mm, we haven't had those foggy mornings. You know, where there's this low-lying fog over sloughs. Oh, that's 
that's nice. Let's just make sure nothing is sticking. Oh, goodness, I don't have my card in there. What am I thinking? That could have been deadly. Oh, yeah, I know. Um, even the leaves, you know, it's just the odd one, the... The ones that, that can't, that don't have the will to go on, that have turned colors and fallen off. But the others are still all green. I remember years as a kid, or as my with my own kids, that, you know, they'd be standing at the side of the road waiting for the school bus to come, and there'd be nothing but rows of fallen leaves at the you know at the shoulder at the edge of the road that just flutter by like when you drive over them they all they become airborne and kind of float around we don't have any of that happening yet so i feel oh 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 what do we have what well, we got a problem oh 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 Yeah, because I goofed there for a while without gluing, without a card in place. Okay, that is free. But look at this. This seam is letting go. Jeez. Workmanship, people. Workmanship. Mind you, we pay next to nothing for these things. So is it any wonder they don't... Where is my pen? Oh. Uh, is it any wonder they don't uh, hold up? Let's just get this card back in and stop touching it, damn it. Okay, let's see what else happened here. Okay. I've taken the card out of there because I'm using it there. I think that looks lovely. Now, I will probably, well, we'll see. I may just leave it as it is because I think it's beautiful. At some future date, I will, I'm sure, want to add something here. Or, um, whoopsie, to continue. Oh, these are all kind of different, the wrong shape, but anyway. Pretend this fit. Could also do that. You know, put in a, a decorated lace uh, tag. This one is more like the right size. All I did was stitch around the perimeter of these guys yesterday in preparation for a video. So that could be good. Or any other sort of thing that a person wants to put in there. So, for now, I will content myself whoopsie, with just this. But this will be sewn in as a signature page. It's too bad I picked a bag that was sewn not, like not on the, it's not straight. But, okay. Then we have this, which you've already seen the finished. Well, it needs, oh, I was debating about that. Either way, this needs to be stitched closed. You've seen this. And this. Now, I think that I love this project and I hope you do too. I hope that if you have these gauzy bags, lace, sachet, um, pebbles, <laughs> um, that you too, oh, I love that, choose to throw them all together and create something 
not only gorgeous to look at, but lovely to smell. Thank you so much for joining me. I uh, do have more videos planned for uh, taping today. So um, have a, a wonderful day. Have a crafty day. And be sure to look out for number one. I think sometimes as women, we, you know, everyone else comes first. But it's really important that we do um, what makes our hearts sing. So with that, I will sign off and we'll see you in the next one. Bye.